Hi, this is Ruth Teresa with One Inspiring Woman, and today we're talking about February 2022's astrology. So I am trying a new incense. So I've got that already lit for us. Um, it's one of those. This is my sixth attempt at this uh, video, so we'll try this one one more time. Um, really, um, this is a brand new um, incense that I'm trying, and it's called Dark Opium, and it is really meant to really help us in this February uh, 2022 energy, so I'm really excited to try it out. So let's talk about February 2022. So really, um, February 2022, we have our second new moon in our calendar year, um, and this is really our Lunar New Year. February 1st is our Lunar New Year and it's also our Chinese New Year. And so this is really going to be a great year from um, an amazing standpoint of like just starting this um, lunar energy going. And for the Chinese New Year, this is going to be our Black Water Tiger um, energy. And this is really going to be coming in um, with like like through the whole year of generosity, um, calmness or serenity, um, kind of this ambitious, but very kind of like thought out, well uh, planned out um, energy in it. So this is going to be a great one for most people. And this is going to be the one where you could really work on your ambitions and really things that you want to bring into you. So also on February 1st, we have Juno that enters the sign of Aquarius and Juno is an asteroid and it's really the one of teamwork and coming together. And so this is going to kind of be a theme for February of this teamwork uh, coming together like marriages, being on the same team, being a team player. We're going to see a lot of that um, and we're really not going to see a lot of people like, I don't want to be on my own. A lot of team people coming together. Um, Aquarius energy um, can um, in relationships can feel a little cold as so as we're in that team working area, uh, we may feel like someone's not fully participating, but I guarantee they are or they're listening. They're just not um, actively listening, but they're part of what's going on. Um, I would say it's also a great time to enter new partnerships um, with mutual love for different ideas, um, respect for each other, honor each other. Um, this is going to give us a really great gain of energy at, right here at the beginning of February. Next, we're going to go um, on February 3rd, Mercury goes direct in the sign of Capricorn. So Mercury has been um, in a retrograde um, energy since the end of 2021. And so now it's finally heading direct. It's not completely out of retrograde. It is just going into post shadow. So it's starting to speed up. So you are going to see less issues with um, communication, cell phones, emails. Um, I've heard all of them by now. I've had people uh, contact me like, oh my gosh, I can't do a reading with you because my computer uh, completely just died or my cell phone isn't turning on at all. All of those things. So it's kind of like, okay, I get it. Um, that's just that um, um, mercury energy and it will calm down. It's starting to calm down, but it will only start until like on February 3rd and it'll lighten as it keeps going uh, full force into the direct energy. Um, this is a really uh, great time to kind of like rethink our businesses, rethink our communication. How do we communicate with each other? Um, this is a really great time. If you haven't signed up for newsletters for companies that you really enjoy or really watch, this is a great time to do that. They're going to be really pushing this communication and getting everybody on the same way and communicating the same way. This is going to be really great. February fourth we have mars in capricorn sextile jupiter in pisces and these two energies are going to be really supportive sextile means it's going to be supportive um, um our fighting spirit um comes out in kind of a very enthusiastic way kind of like a cheerleader like yes we're going to cheer everybody on but we're also cheering ourselves on as well um and going after what we really desire in life what is that new stuff that that's telling you it's like this is what's coming up new in our businesses and our partnership so this is going to be a really great one um also on february 4th we have our sun in aquarius conjunct saturn in um Aquarius and this is going to really intensify conjunctions really intensify it's kind of like pushing both of these energies together um, and this is going to be a really positive day um, and I guarantee you we're going to have some revolutionary thinking coming through um, kind of this confidence of what's coming up 
confidence of like, how could this be different? Like curious, kind of like, how can we make this different? How can we bring this together in a different way that we don't have right now? Um, then we move into February 8th. We have Mars in Capricorn, trine Uranus in Taurus. And this is really a harmonious um, conjunct, uh, trine. It's one of those tr uh, trines are all about harmoniously kind of mixing all of this together, kind of like putting everything in the mixing bowl and then coming out. This is a great day to kind of be more independent. This is a great day to kind of like do your own thinking and what do you want to bring into the world. Um, this is also a great day to kind of encourage yourself what is it that I really desire in my life? What is it that I'm really ready to kind of like light the fire under? What am I willing to move into at this time? And that's going to be some really great energy as well. Let's see. Also on February 8th, we have Sears um, entering uh, the sign of Gemini and Sears is a really great little um, asteroid, but it does change a lot of energy and it's going to enter the sign of Gemini. So this is going to be, a, Sears is a very nurturing asteroid and this is going to kind of bring in a lot of chattiness to our, our Gemini energy. So you may see people that are normally not very chatty, just all of a sudden talking about everything. You're like, oh my gosh, that's what we're talking about. Um, this will kind of really bring in a new level of um, harmonious healing for a lot of people. A lot of healers that are already active in this business are going to kind of make, take things to the next level and kind of feeling and sharing um, more energy and being more productive, kind of that feel of being more productive. Next on February 11th, which is a super power day, uh, February 11th, we have Mercury in Capricorn conjunct with Pluto in, um, in Capricorn. And so this is going to kind of focus all of this energy. Um, this is going to be stand your ground, um, kind of like don't run. This is a great day to kind of stand up for what you want. This is kind of where we're going to come in with a lot of energy of people that have been pushed around or pushed down or being bullied or um, dominated over, kind of coming up and going, mm, we're not doing this anymore. I'm changing the way I'm thinking. I'm changing my mindset on all of this. This is a great way of kind of balancing that energy because a lot of people would put, like if you put an energy to bullying, you would kind of think it's more masculine and it is. And then kind of standing up for yourself is going to balance that energy out. So you're going to have a balance between that male and female energy on February 11th. Um, let's move to February 4th. We have a couple of things coming up on, on Valentine's Day. So this is going to be a great one. So February 14th, Mercury enters Aquarius. So um, basically it's kind of speeding up enough. So it's kind of caught back up to Aquarius energy um, and um, is going to be great for Valentine's Day. It's going to kind of really be pushing our communication side. Um, it's one of those... Uh, you may see this new romantic energies coming forward. Um, you may actually expect a couple of like unexpected breakups. And this could be kind of like big breakups, people that you never thought would break up. They're going to announce it on this day, like we're breaking up, this is over. And you might see this unalliance that we just saw on February 2nd kind of coming together, kind of like old ones that aren't working anymore, breaking apart. Um, and this is going to kind of bring some different energy um, on February 14th. We also have on February 14th, Paulus, which is another asteroid entering the sign of Aries. And this is really about um, being et extra courageous. What are you willing to like take for yourself? What are you willing to work for to get? What is it that you're willing to get right now? What are you working towards? Um, and this is kind of like being sure of ourselves and kind of like the strategy of it. But it's also kind of like, what is the wisdom behind me? What, what has been pushing me forward? What is it that I know that I can create on my own that I'm willing to work for? So this is a really powerful energy. Also on February 14th, we have our sun in the sign of Sagittarius, square Neptune in Pisces. And this is kind of, kind of bring some struggle or some new growth in this area. Um, this is like a day that you might want to take a step back. If you don't have to be out in the limelight, if you don't have to be out on February 14th, this is a kind of a great day to kind of um, lay in bed and watch a great movie uh, with your partner and just really kind of be unproductive for a while and just kind of chill out and relax and celebrate Valentine's Day a little bit differently than normal. Um, we also have on February 14th, just some uh, amazing power days. Everybody 
in the United States really thinks about um, Valentine's Day as being this day of love. And so that is really going to overwhelm a lot of this energy. Um, even if you have a husband or spouse that hasn't bought your Valentine's Day gift yet or hasn't bought you a card yet or whatever else, you're going to feel that energy and we're going to kind of feel this love emanating from the United States on this day and kind of taking it worldwide. Not the whole world. Um, um, celebrates Valentine's Day, but the United States does. And that that energy from the United States kind of circles around the globe a couple of times during that day. And it really, really makes for some amazing, loving energy. Let's move on to February 16th. We have Venus in the sign of Capricorn um, conjunct with Mars in Capricorn. And this is really going to focus kind of both Venus and, and Mars energy together. And this is kind of like the Venus side of it is like the passion, the the love, the, that sort of thing. And then we also have um, uh, Mars energy of kind of like this strength and <clears throat> coming forward and moving into other things that we haven't been moving into lately. And so this is going to bring some amazing energy in this of kind of pushing forward. And Capricorn is all about like this romantic relationship at this point, kind of reaffirming our love for others and ourselves as well.